This video is sponsored by Mammoth Interactive. Take your skills to the next level at mammothinteractive.com. Check the links down below for some amazing deals. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to destroy objects. It's actually fairly easy to do, but before we do that, if you like this channel and you get any kind of value out of this, please like and subscribe. I do really appreciate it, and it helps me become monetized, because as of now, this channel is not monetized. So what I've done here is I have the first person template here, and you can see here that we have a little ball here, and it works out pretty well. And you can see here that the ball bounces and then gets destroyed. Pretty simple stuff. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at how this functionality works. So let's open up our content drawer here, go into first person blueprint, into blueprints, and we're going to look at the first person projectile. Obviously, when you shoot the projectile, it spawns one of these actors here, and that's basically what it is. And you can see here that there is a destroy actor tab here. Uh, and you can see that there's an event here. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete everything and start from scratch. So when this projectile hits something, uh, we want it to get destroyed. Now, let's take a look at how we do that. First of all, we type in an event. An event is something that happens. Hit. So we're going to go event hit, and we're going to drag off of this, and we're going to say that this is destroy actor. Okay. Now, what is it going to destroy? Well, it's going to destroy itself, target self. So you can actually destroy another actor, which we'll do in a second here, but you can essentially see that it will destroy itself. Go ahead and save that. Hop back in here. Let's go ahead and play here. And as you can see, as soon as it hits something, it gets destroyed. Very simple stuff, not too complicated. Now, let's go ahead and let's drag this out again. Let's destroy actor. And let's go ahead and let's target the other. So when you hit something, it obviously, um, you can see what the other uh, thing that it hits. In this case, it's going to destroy the other thing that it hits. So destroys that, destroys that. You get the idea. You can even destroy the floor. It doesn't discriminate against anything that you're doing here. Now, of course, you can do this so that the ball never gets destroyed. So let's take a look at that. This is kind of weird. So watch this. So you can shoot it up here. And as soon as it bounces everywhere, it will uh, it will not, since the ball doesn't get destroyed, when the ball touches anything, it will destroy it. So obviously you don't want to do that. So we can just hook that back up here. Okay. So that's all well and good, but let's add in one final thing to the project here. So when the ball gets destroyed, uh, let's go ahead and let's, spawn an explosion. So in order to do that, we need another event. And we, if we type in event destroyed, it will do that. Okay, event destroyed. And what that de event destroyed is going to do is that uh, that event destroyed will um, basically spawn an actor from class. Now, if we spawn an explosion, that's obviously in the starter content, if you don't have that, it will spawn. But if we run that, we get this huge error. What is that error? Well, all this error is, is this error is something that uh, will allow you, or it says that uh, spawn transform is not being set. So what we need to do is we need to go over here to the sphere, push the control, and then we're going to say get world location. Okay, and then we're going to drag this over to the spawn transform, and it's going to convert it. Every time you see this, it will say convert. Now, it's, it's general practice that you shouldn't convert, but obviously you need to do it at some point in time. So I'm going to convert that here, and you can see that when you drag it over, it does indeed convert. So what's going to happen here? Well, whenever it hits something, there's a little explosion. I think that's actually really cool. Pretty cool stuff. Not too bad. So you can see, you can do this as much as you want. And there you go. Very, very cool stuff. All right. So that is how you destroy actors in Unreal. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. It really does help us out. Let us get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours by liking and subscribing. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in another video.